Hey, what's up everybody? Jay Ho here with another Star Citizen video. Today we are beginning day three, part one of our 10 day Star Citizen uh, beginner playthrough. Uh, just noob to the verse here. And uh, hope you guys are enjoying the barely surviving day two part two video. Man, that was a fun one. Got into a lot of stuff there. And if you haven't seen it yet, make sure you go back to my channel and you go ahead and watch that one. That one was a definite must watch. And what we're doing here today, uh, so this one, just kind of getting started out, uh, 3.22 just dropped, um, so I kind of had to get started out, I ended up losing my Nomad that I had bought, so super unfortunate there, um, but today's kind of chill, uh, part one, we're going to have a conversation about a video I watched between uh, a few different video games that are similar to this, we'll do a couple bounties, uh, and then we'll be wrapping it up there, so if you do like the content make sure to leave a like definitely helps out a ton with the youtube algorithm make sure to subscribe for future video updates and check out my twitch if you want to catch me live twitch.tv slash i'm jho uh but other than that we'll catch you out in the verse now i need to figure out how to fly away from here retail commercial no i want to go spaceport uh, map Hangers, spaceport, spaceport, spaceport. So there, excuse me. I'm gonna follow this guy. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> that is not anything that I have. So I don't have the Nomad anymore. That's kind of sad. Oh, no, I, this is the only ship I have. Is this Aurora? <laughs> that is definitely not going to do salvage. Big old hanger for this little dinky ship. Um, I have called arms up there instead of the other one. Wait. Right. All right, let's get out of this atmosphere. Go commit a murder. All right, typically I go about 10,000 and it works. Um, there we go. I watched this video last night and it was all like going from space to ground and back to space again in four different games. Uh, Elite Dangerous, No Man's Sky, Star Citizen, and what was the other one that came out? That's Bethesda. God, I can't remember. It's star something, I think, though. But that one was like, literally, you're like in space and you're like, I want to land on that planet. And you just click land and then all of a sudden you load in and you like land on the planet. <laughs> I was like, well, that was lame. Starfield. Yeah, yeah. And then Elite Dangerous, literally, the planet looked like it was like, it looked like it was more fake than it did in No Man's Sky, which I thought was actually kind of hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it just looked like... Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't really watched much into it, but I knew if I was going to play a space game, I would play this. Like, everything I saw about it and heard about it, like... I, I never watched people play it. I've seen zero gameplay, but I followed it a lot. Um, like I had it wishlisted on Steam and didn't end up getting it, obviously, or 
I didn't really care for it after kind of hearing a lot of the stuff that I heard about it, so. Don't ask me what directly. I mean, the loading screen thing kind of turned me off, and the guy was never really a big Fallout player either, so. I don't know. I just didn't think it was up my alley, so. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, I've been I, I I did a lot of research into Elite Dangerous too and man it is just not anything similar. Like the first time I played this game, now granted, as I was like the first time I ever played it, like I think I died like three times before I ever even got into a ship. Just like running around. You know, back like three years ago it was kind of pretty difficult to, to to do anything with it but I think the biggest thing was like the moment I hopped in a ship and I flew off of a planet like that that the first time you do that in this game that is um, that's that's not anything that you'll forget like it's it's that like wow and now it's just you just do it all the time you know just leave in and go into planets and, and like it's just normal day and it's a little things like that that you know you kind of gotta appreciate you know so but yes another day oh you're exploring along I lost my nomad, so I can't do any mining. Armistice zone. I don't think that that's the bad guy. Yo, I didn't even see him. I was too focused on the missile thing. And I didn't realize that he was right in front of my face. Hey. I have no idea what song that is. That's what we're going with. So, like my guns and stuff are still on here, right? I literally, I can't tell. I just gotta, I just gotta get at it. But I do need to pull up the contract again. I wish there was windshield wipers. Um, okay, map. Nope, contracts. Accepted. Nothing. Okay. Alright, so call to arms. Yep, we'll do that again. And then bounty. Gin Whistler Carpino. Alright, the Whistler, where are ya? God, there's a few of them. Oh, I'm trying to rotate a different way. All right, I didn't go directly at him this time. Space brakes.
God, how do I? Oh, it's this one. There's another ship somewhere. All right, so. You know, that's kind of scary. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I, I forget who it was that was talking about. There was like an event or something that it was. Is, do, is there going to be anything on this? Am I just wasting my time? I don't even have a tractor beam. So if I can't pick it up with my hands, it's kind of pointless, right? loot the dead body how do you get into this thing I probably would need like a gun to shoot it open or something right I did this so I killed it <laughs> all right I'm just gonna leave it be it's kind of cool to come down and check it out though I don't know what the other one was Side facing skywards, that's what I kind of figured. Honestly, since I landed, it has cleared up so much. 